That's happened with hippies for a while. Hippies were so oh, fun, and then Charles Manson, the ultimate creepy hippie. Charles Manson probably put the old nail in the coffin there. <laughs> for the hippies. And in hindsight, it seems naive, doesn't it? But there was a point where someone had to say, hey, you guys know that big social movement um, where much older, more charismatic uh, men, they take groups of uh, very young women who've often run away from home and dropped out of school, and they take them in a big group, and they take them far away from where they live with no uh, documentation or money or ID, and they have to go live in the wilderness, and they, he feeds them drugs. <laughs> well, there's been something untoward going on. <laughs> People would have been like, aww. <laughs> Charles Manson was the head of a fascist hippie death cult called the Manson Family, and he convinced his followers that if they all went out and conducted a series of high-profile, brutal slayings of Hollywood celebrities, that would trigger a race war that destroyed the Earth. And after that, the Manson Family would rule the world. He was not clear on the details. <laughs> he was an ideas man. The real blue sky thinker, Charles Manson. Um, and they all did that. They did exactly what he said, and he went to jail for his whole life, as well he should. And then, mid-trial, Charles Manson got a big old swastika tattooed right fucking there. <laughs> right in the middle of his face. Big swastika. Um, which, for me, at that point, is overkill. <laughs> it doesn't need that as well, does he? Once your fascist hippie death cult has brutally slain a bunch of A-list celebrities, in an attempt to bring about a race war that destroys the Earth, that, we get it, Charles. You're unreasonable. Over-egging it a little here. I don't know if any of you caught the best thing about Charles Manson's forehead swastika. Mid-trial. Not while he was still walking around, and not once he was in prison to fit in with the lads. <laughs> Mid-trial. Can you imagine being that lawyer? <laughs> it's the most high-profile case for 40 years, and everyone in Hollywood hates you, and you're his defense attorney. And he's in pre-trial detention. Now, Charles, we've had the uh, initial hearings. Um, I think, if we're lucky, you didn't do any of the murders yourself. So it's just your followers, so if we're lucky, we can convince everyone it's all just a big misunderstanding. Just try not to do or say anything that could turn a jury against you. <laughs> the next day, morning! <laughs> Fuck! You're killing me here, Charles. Day one of law school, lesson one. Try to make sure your client has as few swastikas on their face as possible. We're aiming for nil. 